In this video we're going to be looking at a very common operation that's defined when it comes to trees and uh, that operation is called tree traversal or traversing a tree. And uh, what it basically consists of is visiting all the nodes of a given tree. And uh, it's, it's defined uh, with two essential steps. First, we're going to be following references. So the tree traversal operation is defined using these two steps. First, we're going to be following references and we're going to be visiting nodes. And by visiting nodes, we mean we're going to perform a certain operation once we land on a particular node. So if this was our tree, then we would follow references and we would step on nodes. We would actually visit them and perform an operation. And in the end, after our tree traversal is complete, we would have actually stepped over all the nodes of a particular tree. So there are multiple ways to perform this tree traversal. We're going to be looking at two of them. Uh, there's the depth first traversal or that I'm going to call DFT and uh, the breadth first traversal or BFT. DFT basically means that you're going to be focusing on one particular uh, uh, branch and going all the way down visiting all the nodes associated with that particular path or branch and then moving on to the next branch. This is DFT. BFT means that you're going to be going to all visiting all the children of a particular parent before moving on to the next level. So you're going to be going through the tree level by level. In the end, they will accomplish the same task. They will they will visit all the nodes of a tree, but they will accomplish that task in different ways. And in DFT, so we're going to be looking at these two ways. In DFT, there are two ways to accomplish DFT. Actually, there's pre-order and post-order. And we're going to be looking at exactly what they mean. So just to give us a, a, an example of uh, a tree traversal and a distinction between DFT and BFT. Uh, I drew here uh, what what I represented as a tree of knowledge and uh, if we were to assume every single node represented a particular uh, uh, aspect of knowledge, so for example here we would have the science and then we might have engineering here, biology, um, under arts we might have philosophy, music, and so on and so forth. That then, we, then we might have two approaches to going through all this, all the nodes of this tree of knowledge. One approach would be DFT, and DFT would say that I'm gonna, st uh, I'm gonna approach this tree by learning as much as I can about one particular subject. So one person w might go through this tree in a DFT manner. So they would start by visiting the root, and then going to the sciences, and then going to engineering, and then digging deeper into engineering, for example, electrical engineering, and then go on, going in this manner until they reach a really small topic which is like the leaf node at the very end and then they'll come back to the beginning and then move on to the next topic they will they will proceed this way until they would have covered the entire tree a BFT approach would say no I'm not gonna go I'm not gonna dig deeper I'm gonna learn about everything but a little bit so this person would learn after a particular time after a particular time t has elapsed we would find out that this person would have learned a lot about one particular topics or a few topics but he, he would know them or, they, or she would know them really really well and a BFT person would know a lot about several topics so they would go here and then visit arts in a general sense and then visit engineering, visit biology so they would stick to, le to levels so they would approach the tree level by level and so they would know a bit about a lot of subjects whereas this person would know a lot about one or two uh, subjects, a few subjects. So this is just to illustrate this distinction between DFT and BFT. Now let's look at the implementations. First we're going to be looking at uh, uh, the DFT and we're going to look at recursive implementations of DFT. So as we said there are two ways to perform a, a DFT uh, a depth first traversal. First there's the pre-order. The pre-order says that I'm going to be looking at every single node I visit before, vi before going to its children. So in this case, if we're looking at this tree, uh, what would happen is that you would visit the first one here, the root, and then you would move on to the next child, and then so on and so forth. Whereas in a post order, we're still performing a depth first traversal, that is we're still actually digging deeper and deeper, but before visiting this one, the root, we would wait till we've reached the very last leaf of a particular branch and then we would per perform a visit or a computation, whatever that, that visit means. And then we move on to the next child and then we go up one level and so on and so forth until we finish that branch. So this one works up to down and this one down to up within one branch.